that starts right down here. When you first walk in the door, this button here is going to turn on your porch light. And the second button here is going to turn on this cabin light up here. check everything. Now, just like all of our other rigs, notoriously the gray and black waters are not accurate. When electronics are sitting in water, it's never a good thing. But here we go. Fresh water, you can check the fresh water tank, you can check the battery level right there, you can check the this LPG is your propane level. Okay. You can turn on your water pump and you are going to use your water pump anytime you are on the road and not at a campsite connected to city water and a hose. You'll have that water pump on. This is your generator. Right now the generator is on. To get the generator started, you're gonna push this stop button for three seconds until this green light comes on. And then you're going to push the start button. And you're gonna hold that start button down until that generator is running. So here's your little sign that reminds you. Um, as you're running the generator, you've got hours that are being clocked here. You get five hours a day included in your rental. Um, and then anything over that is, um, is calculated and that's all in your information on your booking page. This is your water heater. You can turn it on like that. It's gonna say pilot out. And then it's gonna start lighting itself and once it lights, then that's going to turn off and it, sometimes it takes a minute or two um, but the propane is just turned off right now so we're going to turn that on and uh, get that water heater started for you okay coming back here we're going to come this is your master bedroom um, you can choose um, an addition to get your um, bed linens put on here for you but and a lot of people have decided to bring their own all of the cabinets around the bed are just open storage and you have storage underneath the bed as well. Um, the shades are all blackout shades. You pull them down with two hands, put them up, and um, it'll keep you nice and blacked out in the morning. You've got um, a nice vent up above your bed to give you some good airflow during the night. Here is your shower. You are going to want to turn on that water heater and get that water heater going for 20 to 30 minutes for a good um, amount of water for your shower. So uh, what you see going on now is um, that toggle switch to turn on and off the flow of water. Once you get your shower um, water to the temperature you want, you can turn it off and then that keeps that heat for you. Okay. Now we're going to go into the water closet. I'm going to turn on the light here. Okay, you have a nice vent in here to um, with a fan that you can turn on and off, and that'll keep the smell down and the air flowing. Your toilet here is a foot flush toilet, and so how that works is you're going to push it halfway down and that will fill the water in the tank get it up to the level you want it at and then you flush and it all goes down you're going to want to keep some water in that toilet and that helps keep the smell down while you're driving okay. watch your watch your feet heavy feet will break that toilet yes you need to have a light step it doesn't take much to get that going A nice size freezer and a good size refrigerator um, you want this auto light on and that means that your refrigerator is going to be working whatever kind of power you're using whether you're driving or it's going to use 
propane or whatever. You never have to touch it. It's just going to stay cold for you as long as you have some battery going. Now, one thing I want to point out about the generator is that if you are dry camping, meaning you're not plugged in at a campsite, you want to make sure that you're running your generator for a good hour to two every morning and a good hour to two every evening. That's going to keep your batteries back here nice and charged for you. So you always have light, you have power to your fridge, um, all of those things. If you decide not to stay in the camper one night and you go into a hotel room or you stay in a tent and you forget to run that generator, you're going to be out of luck the next morning and not have power. So please make sure you're running your generator every night and every morning. Okay, down here is just your fuse box. Um, if things go wrong, you can make sure that these are all in the upright position. You've got extra fuses taped in there just in case. Okay. Okay, coming into the kitchen, you have a microwave that works when the generator is on or you're plugged into shore power. Um, the stove and oven work like a barbecue. So the stove, you're going to turn on to light and then you're going to light it with a match like a barbecue. And with the oven, same kind of scenario, there's a pilot light under this um, tray down there. You're going to turn the, the pilot on and you're going to go down there and light it. Okay, you have all sorts of kitchen goodies stocked in here. You've got plates and dishes and coffee pot, blender, cups, mugs. You've got utensils, eating utensils, cooking utensils. You've got stuff to wash your dishes. You've got pots and pans and bowls. So that's all, all your kitchen necessities are here and waiting for you. Um, let's see, now you've just got open storage up here. Um, You've got a nice television that is um, a smart TV. So if you guys have Wi-Fi at your campsite or on your phones, um, it's already hooked up with Netflix, Amazon, Disney, all that stuff. So you just hook up to your phone and you can play your favorite shows. Okay, so you've got a nice king size mattress up here. Um, this is a six sleeper um, RV. So you can sleep two up here, two in the back bedroom. This table banquette area turns into a twin size bed um, for one or two littles. And then somebody can sleep here just on the couch. It does not convert. Okay, so yes, what we are gonna do, we're going to, excuse my little things here, we're going to remove the cushions. You're gonna do that on both sides. I'm just gonna do a little quick demo here. Remove the cushions. You're going to flip up the table leg. You're going to lift this table up and out, and you're going to put it down on the rails. Now, in and you have a great twin size bed. Again, we can provide linens for you upon request. Um, you have to add them in your add-on section. So somebody can sleep here as well. And like I said, you have some kitchen stuff up here, open storage up here. These please two-handed for the shades. You can unlock and lock your windows so um, you can have fresh air. And let's see, let's go up to the front of the RV. Okay, a couple of things to show you. Number one, this nifty backup camera. We're just going to push it like that. So you actually touch it and it um, gives you a backup view and that stays on for 90 seconds. My suggestion is that you obviously, you're gonna use this anytime you're parking. Um, 
or backing out. But then also when you're gonna change lanes on the freeway, things like that, it's really nice and handy to have that on as just an extra set of eyes. Um, when you are gonna change lanes on the freeway, give yourself a good uh, little while because it's always, people don't like to let you in in this big thing. Okay, there is a nice little sign here on the front. It says, if you can see it, save your brakes, downshift on hills. Um, one of the biggest um, issues we've had, calls we've gotten, is when people forget this simple step. Um, if you are going down a big hill for a long distance, you've got 15,000 pounds against your brakes. Um, to save your brakes, you just downshift in to second gear and um, you'll let the engine brake for you instead of using your foot. Okay, one last thing I want to show you up here. You have an emergency switch down here. Oh, I know it's hard to see. There you go. So, if your batteries in the back are dead or your battery in the front is dead, this is a jump start from the front battery to the back battery or vice versa. So, um, somebody can hold this down while you're either starting the engine or you're starting the generator, and that will give you an extra boost unless the battery's so dead that that switch doesn't even work. Yes, and that has happened. So remember to use your generator. You have a few steps right here to keep, help you get up. These are modification we made for kids and adults to use to get up. Use that instead of stepping on the fabric. Also, this loves to squeak like crazy. So if you hear a big squeak all the time, put the seat a little bit forward so it's not up against and you won't squeak. Okay, just a couple of reminders. Um, we, let's see, we stay away from drive-throughs, covered parking, anything like that. And you definitely wanna make sure that you turn wide and have spotters when you park. Um, but other than that, I think that is most of the information you need in here. And obviously, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call um, anytime. Uh, text us through the app. However you are going to, however you've been messaging us, do it. And we are happy to help you along your way. So again, thank you for traveling with RV Adventuring and we will see you soon.